Hey, I'm Adam Kemp with NewsOK.com, and today I'm here with Chris Hammonds, who is a local attorney who is going to debut on Survivor. Uh, Chris, nice to have you here. Well, it's nice, nice to be here. Appreciate you having us. Now, let me just start off by asking, this is the 33, 33rd season of Survivor, uh, nicknamed this year Millennials vs. Gen X, so it's kind of a, a war of the ages there. So tell me... Why Survivor? Why did you want to go on this? A show that's known for being, you know, pretty brutal and, and harsh and kind of tears people up. What, what appealed to you about wanting to go on this show? Well, oddly enough, all that appeals to me. Uh, I've, I've been a Survivor fan since day one. It started out, you know, just can you survive? That was kind of the, uh, but the game has uh, just evolved into this other thing, this social experiment that I believe is just the hardest uh, game that there is out there. And like I've said, it's uh, 33rd season now. Uh, it's been on longer than I, almost any other reality TV show in existence. Um, are you a day one watcher? What, how, when did you start watching this show? Day one. I saw, I've never missed an episode in, uh, of Survivor ever. And it makes it easier with DVR nowadays. But uh, just been a huge fan. And it has. It's, it's been running for so long. It's so successful that... Uh, it's just a phenomenon, I think, and it, it really started a lot of the reality TV. Yeah. Uh, it, I think it's just a, it's a the flagship of CBS. Yeah. Um, so tell me, what was the audition process like? How did how did that go for you? <laughs> well, you know, the audition process is a it's a long process. You start out just like everybody else. You send in a video and a, do an application and hope that something piques their interest and and uh, <clears throat> and you just wait for a call. And as you go through it, there's it's kind of like moving up more and more steps. Right. Making the cut is what I call it, and you just hope you uh, peak enough interest to make the cut. So I know that. You, you get that final call, and you're told, hey, we want you for the show, but you're not allowed to tell anyone, right? You have to keep that kind of a secret? That's right, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's very difficult to navigate, especially in an office. I have 11 attorneys and you know, six, seven, eight staff members, and to say, hey, I'm going to be gone for you know, 45, 50 days, and I can't tell you where I'm going. Uh, family, friends, everybody uh, very concerned, and you can't say anything. So right. that's part of the uh, you know, mystique behind it. Let's get into your background a little bit. Um, yeah, a big part of in your bio on CBS.com, you kind of list uh, why you think you'd be good at the show. Can you share a little bit of that with us? Sure. I think I think my childhood lends well to the game of Survivor. I've been I've been kind of on my own for a long time and have had to use my social skills and every skill I have uh, from uh, mental to physical to kind of make it in the world. So it's been kind of like I've been on that survival edge for so long I, th I felt like that environment, that chaotic environment, uh, I just would fit in in it. And so from that to going on to play football at OU and the mental toughness that it takes to, to do that, I think it just, it was a game that just suited me. All right. You were a walk-on captain, right, for right. the national championship team? That's right. I mean, it's, it's, that's been my, my, my path through life has been one of difficulty, but success, too. Uh, and that's it. I walked on at OU against all odds. People told me, what are you doing? There's no chance. And I said, well, we'll see. And by the end of it, I was standing at the national championship. Uh, a scholarship player, Bob Stoops, gave me a scholarship. And, uh, and uh, it, it worked out, but it, it was a long road. So how um, Survivor now has a lot of games and, and physical activities, not to mention the just act of surviving on an island with very limited rations and, and you know, water supply and things like that. So how does, um, you know, old two-a-days in football, how did that prepare you, I guess, for, for, for Survivor? I think anybody that's been through some two-a-days and, and tough, uh, tough situations, it certainly doesn't hurt when you're going to go on the game of Survivor. And as everybody knows that's a fan of Survivor, it's, it really is difficult. There, it's not a trick. It's not a production. You're really out there in the elements, and you're really on your own. So the background of my football and two-a-days and, and just my upbringing in general, uh, I mean, I had no running water when I was, you know, growing up in a trailer in eastern Oklahoma. It all lent itself well for me to say, you know, this is bad, but it's not that bad. Right. Yeah. Okay. Those would prepare you, I guess. Yeah. So. Um, tell me a little bit more about um, just the game itself. What were you, what, what did you think was your biggest challenge going in, into Survivor? 
I felt like, uh, you know, it's kind of always a two-edged sword with a guy like me. Um, big, strong, maybe a little more athletic than a lot of the folks that are on the show. So you're going to have a target on your back. So I felt like if I, if I made it, and tune in and see, if I make it deep enough into the game, I think it would be difficult at that point just because of the physical aspect. So, um, and it's a... The game of Survivor, it's you don't want to be too much in front or too much in back. Uh, it's so socially speaking, the game is so impossible to figure out. Right, because the leaders usually get picked off early, or the people that do well in challenges are seen as a threat, so they all got to go one way or another. Kind of lay low. Is that an idea? Yeah, you know, historically, that's what happens. Leaders get thrown off, uh, threats get put out, but at the same time, if you're not a threat, then they don't want to vote for you right. at the end. So. It's, it's that fine line of stepping out in front and not stepping out in front, which is difficult for me because I've always been a leader. I've always stepped up to the plate and, and been vocal. So it's, it's a difficult task when my mindset going into the game was, I've got to actually keep my mouth shut, maybe. Right. Yeah. I think that's probably why it's been around so long, the social concept of you know stand out and, and be the best versus kick these people off and then know that they're going to have to vote for you in the end. Trying to balance all that, it sounds crazy. It is. It's the, it's the social experiment of our time, honestly. They, it's a brilliant concept. That is, it is the most difficult task that I've ever taken part in, and, and I think it's the, the most difficult game out there. Uh, physical, mental, social, all that combined into a game, uh, it's, there just doesn't get any harder than Survivor. The, the folks that win the, that game, uh, it's, it's a difficult game to win. Right. The game length itself, 39 days, I assume you're gone for a few more days besides that. How is that? You have two kids and a wife? I do. I have a wife and two. Uh, my wife, Jennifer, uh, she was wonderful enough to allow me to go on this <laughs> and see my dream. And, it, and, and also just to put up with, you know, the daily routine of my, my two boys, Coster and Jax. They're a handful. And I just thank her a lot for allowing me to do this. But that's the most difficult part of any of the process right. is is the family the, the the difficulty being away from my boys and my wife is uh it is challenging challenging uh the theme itself millennials versus gen x now i'm a millennial you're gen x why would i not win survivor well okay millennials versus gen x i'll be honest with you gen x uh you know when you first think of it you're you, you want to get into this oh we work harder and all <laughs> that but what i've what i think about Millennials and Gen X is, you know, there's really no generation that's greater than the next. Uh, but the Millennials have their wonderful points about they have more tolerance and more thought, I think, that we all need. We need more tolerance in this world and we need more thought. Um, but at the same time, I'm a firm believer that in America you get up early, you go to work, right. you put in a good day's work, and I think Millennials are a little more apt to, let's get up at 11 o'clock and maybe I'll have a good idea or not. And that's not me. I'm, I'm a, let's get in at 7 o'clock and let's work all day and grind it out. Whether there's a smarter way to do it or not, my way is let's go forward and work hard. Right. All right. Last thing, what should uh, people expect from this season? This season is going to be a wonderful season. I think it's going to change the game. I think it's going to uh, challenge the concepts of the game and uh, a, further evolve the game uh, in Survivor. I think super fans will will just love this season. We have great characters, um, great competitors, uh, and Survivor just did a, and CBS did a fantastic job. And, and you know, I just think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be one for uh, maybe one of the best. Great. I was trying to check on the date of when this premieres, but I believe September 21st. September 21st. So. For more uh, coverage on, on Chris here and his story, you can check in on newsok.com or read more in the Oklahoman.